Hello, welcome to this again. So, the original Xbox. A few months ago, I got ReactOS to run on this thing. But why use ReactOS on an original Xbox when you can run actual Windows on the original Xbox? Apparently, this is a thing you can do. But first, uh, this thing is still in shambles from last time I used it. First off, there's just an IDE adapter just sitting in here. <laughs> All right, here's the original drive, which is broken, but I shouldn't need it anyways, and I want the thing on the front here, so. Oh, I kind of need that. Yeah, that's right. This hard drive should have all the things I need for it already on it, so. Alright, the hard drive isn't mounted to the thing, but, like, it should be fine. I just gotta get this thing back over it. It's backwards. Boy, I hope it was supposed to be that crunchy. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I got it. Hell yeah. Ooh. You may have noticed while I was putting this thing back together that this thing already has a mod chip inside of it. It was installed by Matt KC of all people, and if you want an explanation, just go watch the other video. All right. The Xbox is back together. Now I just gotta set up a monitor and things and, you know, actually do the thing. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for custom parts for your next project. They offer incredibly high quality and affordable PCB prototyping, 3D printing, CNC machining, and more. And if you're wanting to build something but don't have any ideas, PCBWay has a large library of user-made designs that you can buy straight from their website. They even have live customer support if you ever need help placing an order. I've used PCBWay for a project in the past and I can personally say that their quality is simply incredible. If any of this sounds interesting to you, go to PCBWay.com or use the link in the description to get $5 off your first purchase. Alright, I've got the Xbox set up here. This is actually a monitor I've never used before because I found it on the side of the road. Alright, so I have an original Xbox controller plugged in, along with the Apple keyboard, which then has a mouse plugged into it. I'm just gonna hope that works because it didn't work on ReactOS. <laughs> yep, open up Serbios and hope that it actually works, because if it doesn't, then I need to open the Xbox again. Cool. I think this is what I need to boot. Gentooks loader. Oh, okay, all right. I guess we're booting. Uh, what is it trying to boot? <laughs> I should mention I got this hard drive image that is on this Xbox right now uh, from Figgy, so I don't really know what he had on here other than the things that you need to do to run Windows 98. So now I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, either way, it appears to be frozen, so I'm just gonna shut this off. Okay, the only options are Fat X, Web Boot, Net Boot, or Advanced. Advanced? Well, that doesn't help. <laughs> and Fat X just tries to boot, you know, the regular thing. What if I just let this sit for a while? Okay, so apparently this is where I'm supposed to be, it just doesn't work for some reason. Which is always awesome. Oh, okay. Uh, the eject button was blinking, so I just pressed the eject button and it reset itself. Cool. So, I'm gonna try unplugging the keyboard and mouse. Then it might work, I don't know. Oh, I was waiting to select something and now it's just frozen. Cool. Yep, that one, do that. Yeah, at the moment it's still just blinking the blinking the eject button and just sitting at this screen. I really hope I don't have to transfer new files to this because if I have to, then either A, I have to take this whole thing apart again, or B, I use a really scuffed ethernet tether method to get the server thing to work. And it's just doing this again. There's an XBE in here. What if I just like... Oh, it's Cromwell. Look, <laughs> just... Okay, yeah, sure, Fat X. K give it a shot. Okay, so this is still frozen. Current theory is that uh, one of the files is corrupt and I need to replace it. Which means I either A, have to FTP into it, or B, open the Xbox and take the hard drive out. Problem with FTPing into it is uh, there's no Ethernet in my room. So how I did it the first time was uh, taking an Ethernet cable, plugging it into the Xbox, plugging the other end into my PC, and using the really weird Windows Wi-Fi tether thing that only works like 25% of the time. And honestly, I don't want to do either of those. Uh, luckily, the router is in the room below me, so I think I can literally just plug this into my router, turn it on, and just access it from my PC over Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna do that real quick. 
All right, I've got the Xbox down here. It's plugged into my router and I uh, replaced all the files that could be causing a problem. I'm just gonna test to see if it boots or not down here before moving back upstairs. I'll go here, do that. Now nothing's even showing up. Okay, cool. Oh, there it is. Okay, that one. Oh, well, would you look at that? All right, yeah, uh, this actually runs in Linux, so. All right, cool. And the mouse works using my controller. <laughs> All right, we're back up here. Boy, I hope this thing didn't magically break. I've got the keyboard and mouse plugged back in because I have hope. Also, if you want to try this for yourself, Figgy put all the files on archive.org, so just go over there. Link will be in the description for that, hopefully. All right, cool, we got Linux. So how I think this works is that, you know, you run Linux on your Xbox, and then you proceed to run Kimu on your Xbox, which then runs Windows 98. All right, we're back here, and the mouse does not work and neither does the keyboard. This is gonna be fun. Oh no, the keyboard works. Okay, that makes things a little bit more usable. Oh, now the mouse works. Okay, cool. Now I just gotta figure out where I need to go. sh slash cd rom slash 98.sh that one. Oh, okay, cool. 98 light preview. Also, the only thing I'm going off of with the whole QMU theory is, um, there's a QME folder in the in the zip. <laughs> oh, we have a mouse cursor and green. Oh, cool. Uh, boy, I hope this doesn't need a password. Okay. Oh, uh, sure. It's January 2019. I wonder if there's gonna be sound. Oh, we have a taskbar and Firefox. Nice, all right, we're running Windows 98 on the Xbox. The resolution looks like ass, but we're running Windows 98 on an Xbox. Do we have anything fun? Entertainment, sound recorder, I can't really use that. It has WinRAR, and it has Firefox, which um, I don't think it's gonna run on this, even if I did have this connected to the internet right now. Okay, what is 98 light exactly? 98 light, access denied. <laughs> Nice one, guys. You're really good at this. This Flash FXP. Oh, it's gone. Okay, cool. Oh, pfft. how long was it? Three minutes tops before I already blue screened the damn thing. Can I? Can I? Can I go back? Oh, are we gonna recover? Oh, the controller still works as a mouse. That's fun. Oh, I can even use the joystick. Um. I don't think it's coming back. Great, I succeeded for about two minutes and then I immediately killed it. Cool. So fun fact, the day that this video releases is the two year anniversary of this channel. I don't really have anything to say right now other than thanks and there will be a video about it very, very soon.